God's peace be with you. Welcome to our Lenten devotional for Wednesday, March 8th. Today's devotional is based on Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 5, verses 1 to 11. And these devotionals we've been sharing during the Lenten journey have been written and produced by Luther Seminary in Minnesota. Therefore, since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have obtained access to grace in which we stand, and we boast in our hope of sharing the glory of God. And not only that, but we also boast in our suffering, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope, and hope does not disappoint us, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. For while we were still weak at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. Indeed, rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though perhaps for a good person someone might actually dare to die. But God proves his love for us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Much more surely then, now that we have been justified by his blood, we will be saved through him from the wrath of God. For if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his son, much more surely, having been reconciled, we will be saved by his life. But more than that, we even boast in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. I seek peace with God, but my neighbor? Hmm. Yes, Christ died for me, but everyone else? God's gift of restoring humanity to bear divine glory is so out of sync with what we deserve. We are the weak, ungodly enemies. Those doubting God's promises, those yielding to temptation and walking away from God, those in need of reconciliation, wait, who are we? In this letter, we are the descendants of Abraham and Sarah. Language usually used to speak of the other Gentiles is here being used instead to speak of the people of God, the Jews. This is God's grace. The wanderers, burdened and thirsty, are found, relieved, and filled. This proves God's love for us. What God is doing in us, God is also doing in others. When we understand this, we have our own story to tell about God's love showing up in Jesus. Let us pray. Reconciling God. Help me to live out the truth that we are who are re we it is we who are reconciled in Christ to you also reconciled to one another. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me for today's devotional, and I hope you join me again tomorrow as our Lenten journey continues towards the cross. But until next time, whenever that may be, I pray that you remain safe and healthy, and that wherever you go, whatever you do, where, whomever you travel with, your message to the world is always one of an abundance of love. God bless.